Hey guys, it's Dylan Self with JTEC. Um, today we're gonna talk about power flow in a manual transmission. It's pretty straightforward. Um, on all your basic manual transmissions, you're um, gonna have an input shaft, a counter shaft, and an output shaft. Right about here, the input shaft and the output shaft are actually separated, so it's actually two different waves. That's why when I'm in neutral, I can spin them different directions. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, whenever it comes in the input shaft, because there's a brake right here, all your power is going to come in and go down to our output shaft. And it's going to put all your power and torque in the output shaft. And then depending on which gear you're actually going into is where the power is going to go up. So say right here we got first gear. So your power is going to come in and go down to the counter shaft. When we lock this thing into first, um, this synchro right here is actually locked to the output shaft and first gear kind of floats. So when you lock it together, the power is now locked through first gear and it goes straight out the output shaft. It's pretty much the basic same way um, for first, second, and third. Um, comes in, goes down to the counter shaft, and then comes up whichever gear you are locked into. With fourth gear, it's kind of different because they are broken apart right here. The power is not going to go down to the counter shaft. When you lock it into fourth gear, it's actually going to lock both these shafts in a one-to-one -one ratio and it's going to go straight through. Um, so from there you go from fourth over to fifth. Um, your overdrive, same thing, it's going to come the input, go down to the counter shaft, and it's going to come down here. Now if you notice how all your drive gears on here were, um, normally it was bigger to smaller, here it's going to be smaller to bigger. So the small, this really small one is driving this big gear, so it has a very small ratio um, to where you're going to get, you know, Great fuel economy, the RPMs will be way down where your speed will be up. So that's fifth gear in your overdrive. On reverse here, we're going to have what we call an idler gear, which is a free spinning gear that when you lock it into reverse, it's going to bring this forward and it's going to put a gear between the drive gear and the driven gear. So what it's going to do is it's going to change the direction. So instead of these turning like this, what it's actually going to do is technically actually going to make them spin the same direction, but to where that your output shaft is going to be spinning the opposite of your input shaft. That's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty basic. It just comes in the input, goes down to the counter, distributes out to whichever gear you're going into, um, reverses it if you're going in reverse, and it comes out the output shaft, goes to your wheels, and gets you down the road. Thanks. Motherfucker.